time to take the leap and buy a cyber truck. 50k likes, and I'm moving back in with the boys. Come, 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 come. come. Ah! Let me preface everything I'm about to say by telling you guys I love my Tesla. And yes, I am unashamedly a Tesla fanboy. But even with that being said, when I first saw the Cybertruck, I had my doubts. And if you didn't, well, either you're lying to yourself or you're an Elon bathwater drinker, which I'm not that far off from being, so no judgment. I mean, I did debate wrapping my car in his face for a video till I saw how much it was gonna cost and then we crossed that one out. But hey, you know, if we get 100K likes on this video, I'll do it. That joke didn't work out too well for me last time, but too late, I already said it. And yes, the wind turbine is on the way for all of you guys asking. It just takes a while, okay? But unless you guys have been hiding under a rock or your mom grounded you, took away all your electronics for the entire week, and this is the first video you're watching after crawling out from your cave, then you've heard about the Cybertruck because it's literally everywhere. It has taken the world and me by storm. And like I said, when I first saw it, I was on the fence. I mean, look at this thing. This shit looks weird. But as with over 200,000 other people, it's kind of grown on me and time to take the leap and buy a Cybertruck. Late 2021, it's, tw it's still 2019. You mean I'm gonna have to wait two, probably three years because I live in Canada until this thing comes in? I can't wait, fam. Elon, take my money. All right, folks, I don't know about you guys, but this new Cybertruck news seriously has me on the edge of my seat and ready to just fling my credit card at Elon Musk's forehead because I've never seen anything like this before. Seriously. Well done, Elon. Seriously, I'm I'm pretty amped for what's to come next. I don't know how great this design is, but this tells me we're headed in the right direction. Or I don't even know what direction we're headed in, to be honest. Mars is the direction it seems we're headed. But it's interesting. So I can't wait till 2021, probably 2022, to get my hands on some more Tesla stuff. I do already have a Tesla. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go on the Tesla website and just buy everything we can. All the Tesla Model 3 stuff that I can possibly get my hands on. Any completely useless items that will make me seem more Tesla fanboy than I already am. We're getting them. All of it. So screw just the credit card. Here's my whole wallet. All right, shop. I didn't even know they had a shop until today. Should be interesting. I probably should look at this, you know? There might be some cool stuff for me to get. I have to sign into my account. Hi, Sean. Ha <laughs> ha. I have my own account. Okay, vehicles. Model 3. What you got for me? This is actually something I need. Super boring. But seriously, I need I need the all-weather floor liners. The bottom of my car is not good, and we live in Canada, and there's snow a lot of it. So let's just add that to the car. What? what whoa, already spending a lot of money. What else do we got? Ooh, this is actually interesting. So I have winter tires and summer tires. If you're fortunate enough to not know why on God's green earth anyone would have that, well, I hate you. But we live in Canada where we desperately need those. Otherwise, you know, things like this happen. <laughs> and... I don't wanna die. So I have two sets of tires and what I ended up doing was just using these as the other one because the caps that come on the Model 3s I'm actually not a big fan of, so I took them off. It was one of those weird design choices that, well, I guess looking back now is kind of what led us to where we are now with the Cybertruck. But this is cool because I put a Tesla logo in the center. So 65 bucks, okay, this is a complete waste, but whatever. Like I said, take my money, Elon. What else do we have? A lot of floor mats. This, I, don't need it, but I'm gonna get it anyways. No hands required lock. It's like a key. It's a Model 3 key. This actually was sold out when I got my car because I wanted to get this. This is gonna be an expensive unboxing. 525. <laughs> Woo! A wireless phone charger. Love you, Elon. Please watch this video and just send me a Cybertruck. I spent $150 on a Cybertruck pre-order and already was, uh, I am about the Tesla lifestyle, so. <laughs> The Tesla Semi Diecast Scale model was officially commissioned by Tesla. So $320 for a toy truck. Don't they just sell these in Hot Wheels edition? <laughs> Whoa. I would get these hats because they're nice. But apparently a lot of other people agree. All sold out. Very interesting. Uh, a water bottle. A stainless steel Tesla water bottle. Why didn't they just give me a free one of these when I bought my $60,000 car? Well, at least that was the cheapest thing we've got so far today. Tesla, it's not a brand, it's a lifestyle. Do they have shirts? Oh, they have apparel. Oh, ho, a lot of it. Swagoo. I might have to get a Tesla hoodie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a, where's the hood? Yep, we are getting a Tesla hoodie. <laughs> Medium, large, let's go big. 
All right, folks. So we bought a whole bunch of stuff off the Tesla website. And I just want to say before we continue, and I, oh my God, $1,500 today. What am I doing? Talk about getting caught up in the hype train. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't drive a truck. I have never had a desire to drive a truck. I still don't want to drive a truck. But the main reason I'm buying this truck is because I want the ATV that comes with it as an option when they do end up releasing it. I don't know about you guys, but that was the coolest thing of the entire demonstration. The guy driving the ATV up into the back of the truck, getting out, closing it. Well, he didn't drive off, but you know, I pieced that part together. That sold me 70 grand. Take it. And now I'm buying a bunch of stuff that I didn't really want. You know, some of this will be cool, but yeah. So 1500 bucks and um, am I really doing this? Please smash the like button. All right, so uh, the cart's looking uh, pretty uh, uh, full and very expensive. And this got me thinking, I've got eight items here for $1,500, you know? I bet you there's some interesting cheap alternatives over on Wish. So if you guys wanna see me do a video where I buy all of the Tesla related items off of wish.com, Smash the like button. If we can get over 30,000 likes on this video, not only will it make me feel like I didn't just waste my money for absolutely no reason, but it'll also encourage me to waste my money even more, but this time over on Wish. So please smash the like button. Hey, voila! Thank you. Your order has been placed. Oh my God, $1,300. Okay, so how I, hopefully this comes quickly. I'm in the spending mood. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, I know I said we're gonna do the Wish video, but there's another place we can check. Amazon. I wanna see what kind of weird Tesla accessories we can find. Do you have the hubcap shit for $21? I just spent 50 on this. Okay, what else? What, what else we got? A door seal kit. What? Red seat? You can get the red guts? I just want to find a couple cool, interesting little add-ons. Seat gap insert filters. <laughs> Why not? You know, at this point, I'm just getting anything. The spoiler? <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh God, what is wrong with me? All right, we've got uh, got a few new items. Okay, all in all, we've got a boatload of new accessories for my Tesla. Just because we're ready to spend money, Elon. If this isn't proof that I shouldn't be the first person to get the Cybertruck when it gets released, I don't know what is. That's basically all I'm doing, marketing myself as someone who should get it fresh off the lot because I'm in Canada and it's gonna take a lot longer than everyone else. I just know it. It took a whole extra year for my Model 3 to come in and I'm tired of waiting, Elon. What do I gotta do, Elon? Just tell me, send me a DM, tweet me. I don't know, you're active on there. You know I obviously follow you. Please help me out and please, as soon as that ATV drops, I'm copping. That's literally all I want. But now there's nothing left to do except for wait for all of our useless and unnecessary Tesla items to come in and then we're gonna test them out and see, see what happens. What am I doing? All right, ladies and gentlemen, our packages have arrived and I've got something to open them with. I have been watching too much anime lately, but as you guys can see, the Tesla items have arrived. Don't worry, there's more than just these. This is just what I use for the intro. I mean, we did buy everything on the Tesla website, including the Cybertruck. Let's just get right into these and check them out. I'm, I'm actually really excited to add these onto my car and add them into the office decor. Just show the world how much I love Tesla and my God, Elon Musk. <clears throat> What's this first item we have here? Ooh, look at the box. That shit looks clean. Got the Tesla on the side there. This is the wireless charging setup for the inside of the car. Oh, God damn, that shit looks cool. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, there's not really much point in showing you guys this here, but I mean, it. it's a panel. You put your phone on it like so, and it should charge, but let's go put it in the car and test it out. All right, so I got the wireless charger set up in the car. As you can see, it works flawlessly, and it was actually pretty easy to set up. It was expensive, but it's very handy. So I'm kind of actually happy we got it. Okay, next item. To be honest, I can't really do anything with this right now. We've got these cool little Tesla caps that you can put on the like cap of your tire. So your rims got the little Tesla branding as well. And then you can put these on. It's basically if you take the hub caps, like the ones that naturally come with the Tesla Model 3, if you take them off, because they kind of look weird. At least in my opinion, I think they look a little too futuristic. So I took mine off. Now I can put this on. And um, the thing is, I don't have those tires on my car right now, so. Oh, just imagine this on the tire. Can't really show you. I'm, or maybe I can. I might be able to. Let's go try it out. I was gonna try and put this on the tires, but as you guys can see, it doesn't quite fit with these rims, so I'd have to do it on the old rims, which I don't have, but just for, you know, viewing purposes, this is what it would look like. 
Some vibes. Okay, now, as you guys can tell, most of this stuff that we're unboxing, we basically have to, we're just unboxing it, and then we gotta bring it over to the car, and this is no different. We've got some little, like, race pedal vibes for pedals in my car, which I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or dislike it, but regardless, they're gonna be in there, so this is what they look like, and let's go put them on the car and see how they look there. All right, it took me, like, 30 minutes, and I almost got stuck in the Tesla because I was trying to be underneath. It just didn't really work very smoothly, but we got the little pedals on as you guys can see they actually look kind of good they, they stand out a little bit i might leave these bad boys on so as you may have noticed in the last two clips we're back at the old alba house i'm in the garage it's the only garage big enough to fit the car and me filming in it my my new garage is, is very little and um the house is completely empty guys it's bringing back some memories but you know what? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. If you want Team Alba to move back in together, smash the like button on this video. 50K likes, and I'm moving back in with the boys. Sorry, Olivia, I, had to, I have to do it. I'm just, guys, look at the house. It's sad, but we had some good memories in this house. You know what? One time in the comment section, just just put a heart and elbow mansion, guys. Good times, good times. But with that being said, I forgot that there was one other box and I'm gonna unbox it now instead of back at the office. Now folks, this is definitely the most exciting of all the boxes that we're going to unbox today. Are you ready for it? I, I don't think it's possible to be ready for what's about to come out of you. Bam! I bet you half you guys don't even know what this is. This is a all-weather mat for the Model 3. If you're fortunate enough to not know what this is or why you would need it, I am sincerely super jealous of you. But if you live in a cold weather country like I do, the snow, as you might have seen when I was showing you the pedals, it creates a lot of dustiness on the inside of your car, like mud, all that fun stuff. So what you do is you put these bad boys down to protect your car. And unfortunately, they didn't have them when the Model 3 first came out, but now they have them and I, I got them off this video. So this actually ended up being pretty helpful for me. Okay, so this is uh, this is gonna be interesting, folks. We've got here our largest package. This one wasn't off the Tesla website. We ordered this one off Amazon. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on my car. I don't even know why I'm trying to cut the sides. We're just gonna yank it out. Either will be a vibe or absolutely not a vibe. And I'm guessing it's gonna be more towards the latter. But I got myself a nice little carbon fiber spoiler to put on my Tesla. I feel like this could be a vibe. This is either gonna look terrible or really good. Like, I don't even really trust that it's gonna stay on my car. Part of me thinks it's just gonna fly off the back. Oh, it's got like some 3M tape and stick it on. So it's stuck on with tape. That's what it is. And we gotta go put this on the car because there's not much else to do with this thing. It looks pretty cool. All right, we've got our spoiler. It's time to go outside and put it on the car. Nope, never mind. it's too cold. All right, even with all these layers and these super useful hats, I'm still freezing, so we're gonna try and make this quick. As you can see, this is where we go. It's kind of styling, profiling, wilding, but it's nice is what I was trying to say. So I didn't actually stick this on yet, so I'm gonna leave it up to you. You decide, is it better with or is it better without? Let me know in the comment section. By the way, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've changed the sign. Some vibes! Be sure to smash the like button even though it doesn't say it. And yes, we might lose a couple of the letters throughout the video. I don't know how that keeps happening, but in the last video, we somehow ended up with Lick and Sub and a few other variations of what the sign initially read. Now, what do we have here? Oh, is this mine? I think I know what this is. Super hyped if this is what I think it is. Oh, this is wavy. Basically, if you get a Tesla, unlike most cars, you don't have car keys. You have your phone app, which you can use to unlock your car. And then they also give you a little Tesla card key. It looks like a credit card. And you can use that as well. Donde esta el carro? But they also have this thing, which was sold out when I first got my Model 3. And it's basically like a key that is your Model 3 that you can link up and actually have it work. That somehow, I think Bluetooth, you probably somehow link it to your car and it becomes your car key. I think you actually press the door and it'll open the door. Press the trunk and it'll open the trunk, which is some vibes. So let's go test this bad boy out. Also, I just want to say, look at the box. Tesla is definitely taking a page out of Apple's book and that it's just making these clean, really nice packaging for all of their items. I got the key all set up. I know this is not properly in order with the unboxing, but let's test it out, okay? Watch this. Apparently, if you click the back, it should open the trunk. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 
There we go. We got the front, the frunk, the frunk. Okay, so I think it just opens the trunk and the frunk. I don't think it really does anything on the sides because as you guys can see, this is really the only clickable area, but still some vibes. Now let's get inside. Oh, okay, we're back inside. It's a lot warmer in here. So the spoiler was kind of a vibe and I feel like it might actually increase the value of the car. Oh, I got another way to increase the value of the car. Let's go, let's go. Come, 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 come. come. Hurry up. See? Increase the value. And it's not just a regular banana, it's a plantain. So hike that price up some more. Now, we're halfway through the unboxing, folks, and I know you're probably thinking, it sucks that you're not gonna be able to unbox the truck you got. You know, the, that's what everyone wants. Everyone wants to see it, but guess what? I am gonna be able to unbox the truck. I'll be the first person to unbox the truck, so just stick around for that, all right? But with that being said, we've got a bunch more stuff in our big duct box right here. Elon, if you're watching this, hit me up. Hit me up. You need some models for the sweater? Do they have Tesla models? They do. Tesla Model 3s, <laughs> you know, but I could be... Tesla model human. Anyways, this is the Tesla hoodie. Actually pretty clean. Like I like the just the simple Tesla logo in the center. It's black. I will wear this. It wasn't cheap either. So I'm gonna try this bad boy on. I'm, I don't know if they do wish sizing over there, but this is a large and it's kind of small. Like I probably could have got an extra large which is weird because I'm normally a medium to a large, not a large to an extra large. But this turned out smaller than I expected, but if it's good enough, let's see what else we got. Oh, I know what this is, but look at the, look at the case. Look at the attention to detail. It's not just in the cars, folks. It's even in the merchandise. Got the nice little baggie. Come on, that's clean and boom. The Tesla water bottle. Oh, the black mat. Marquise Brownlee is H. This is a nice water bottle. It's not cheap, but I will, I will be using this it, it is a water it's one of the first times we've done a water bottle unboxing on the channel we're doing a lot of a lot of firsts today this is the new water bottle i'm adding to my collection take a nice gander at it looks lovely well designed oh okay remember when i said we'd be unboxing the truck i didn't lie it's the semi truck not the cyber truck don't hate me okay but this is way bigger than i was expecting that's what she said and uh, wow, okay, let's take a look at this. This is gonna be a cool little addition. Maybe I'll use this for the background of a set for the videos. I honestly thought this would be Hot Wheels size, but uh, if it is, this is weird packaging. It makes more sense though, this was not cheap. This was like $300, so let's take a look. Oh, whoa, this thing is huge. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. It's some Hypebeast style stuff. This certifies that this, this Semi 124 diecast model is manufactured under the license of Tesla Inc. and is a true representation of the actual vehicle. This might be the first unboxing of the Tesla semi truck. There's a lot of hype around this. Oh, come on, it's wavy. It actually, like it, it works, drives around and it's a proper representation. Oh man, it's got like some good seating in there. Got two big duct iPads in the center. Vibes right here. Definitely one of the least necessary things humanly possible to buy, but it's cool. That's, that's what you bought it for. Or at least that's what I bought it for. No, I didn't even buy it because it's cool. I bought it for this video because it's just what I had to do. Let me know what you guys think. Because this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be, this makes for a sweet little desk ornament. You know, style up your desk a little bit like i said the background of a video maybe i'll have it on a shelf or maybe you know we've got this thing right here so maybe i'll add this on the other side and all my videos will look like this what do you guys think just like a little stock thing that we have sitting on the desk is it you know what i mean you know you know what i meant anyways ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed the video we did all the unboxing we put all the stuff on my tesla and we unfortunately have to wait until the cyber truck comes in before we can unbox that i don't know does that count as an unboxing probably not i don't think it will come in a box but before we can take a closer look at the cyber truck well obviously i'm super excited for the cyber truck to come in even more excited for the for the uh cyber truck atv or the cyber atv to come in because that shit looked lit again Again, Elon, I'm ready to throw my money at you, man. Just catch it and give me all the stuff. I want it all. Well, the stuff that I can afford. I still can't afford the Roadster. 
or any of the like the 200 kits. I would love that one though. And like I said, if you need a Tesla model, hit your boy up, cause I got you. The poses, I could pose up with this. Come on, this should be like the banner of your website. You know what I mean? Maybe without the smile, too late. Okay, see, it looked pretty good. Definitely better than the other banner, I would say. If I showed up on that site with that banner, I would be much more inclined to buy. Don't you guys agree? But I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys wanna see a video where I buy all of the Tesla items off the Wish website, be sure to smash the like button. I think we would find some very interesting stuff over there because I mean, this stuff was cool. But it was, it was pretty basic, you know, nothing too crazy. Wish we all know has some crazy stuff. So it should be interesting if we do that video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. And I'm not gonna say toodles. I'm gonna say Tesla, Tesla's, Tesla. I'm gonna say toodles, toodles.